Hi everyone, my name is Anita and I work at University Branch Library in Sugarland. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a felted mushroom. Felting is a process of transforming wool into 3D objects using a barb needle. It's very straightforward. Start with a bit of wool, tightly roll it into the size and shape you're looking to make and begin to stab it with the needle. Continue this motion over and over again. This will agitate the wool fibers so that they will lock together and produce a firm shape. Materials required for this project can be purchased from any local craft store. Here, we are going to use the following supplies. A felting pad or a sponge, red and white wool, a felting needle, and a ruler. Let's get started. First, we are going to divide the wool. Roughly estimate how much will be needed for each body part. Roll the white wool into a log shape for the mushroom stem. Fold one end and leave the other as we have to attach that end to the cap. Length of the stem is approximately 4 cm. Rest your work on a foam pad and begin to poke the needle in and out, gradually building it up to the right size and shape you're looking for. Bending or twisting the needle may cause it to snap. Be sure not to stab through the mat. If the needle hits a hard surface, it may snap or cause you harm. Keep poking for about 7 minutes. Volume of the wool will decrease as it becomes felted. The wool should be firm with a bit of bounce but not rock hard or really soft. If the stalk is not dense, you may add more wool. Keep poking for another 2 minutes. Check and see whether the stock is dense. Smooth the mushroom stock in so that it will stand without any support. Now let's see how to make the mushroom hat. If you have enough red wool, form a flat circle. You might need this much red wool. If you want to save your red wool, use white first and red later. Here, I'm going to use my white first. Now form a flat circle. Diameter of the hat will be six centimeters. Resting it on your foam pad, poke with the needle for about 15 minutes. If you are using only red wool, this 15 minutes would be enough. You can create a dish shape by repeatedly felting inside the center. When it's firm, take some red wool and make a thin layer to felt over the top. You have to poke the top for another 7 minutes so the color is uniformly felted to the white wool. When attaching accent colors, don't push the needle completely through the body or your solid color will become speckled. Work on the edges to make a nice disc. Next, add the dots for the mushroom hat. Take a bit of white wool, roll it between your fingertips and felt the little dots onto your mushroom. Now 
make about five to six dots. Felt the hat and stem together by continuously pushing the felting needle up and down firmly from the stem onto the hat. The barbs on the needle will entangle the wool together. There you have it, a felted mushroom. You can create a variety of projects with felting. If you are a beginner, start with simple shapes before trying a more challenging piece. For more felting projects, check out the library's craft collection books. I hope you will give this fun fiber art a try. Happy felting!